It's another fantastic Friday, so we're gonna do another craft. Let's try out tie-dye coffee filters. Tie-dye is a blast, but you might not have the materials. This is an easy way to tie-dye with things lying around at home. So here's some things you might need. Coffee filters. These are what people use to make their coffee. They're pretty inexpensive and come in big packs. You might have them lying around your house. You'll need markers. You're gonna want water-soluble markers. This means they can be affected by water. You just don't want permanent markers. Here's another variety that would work just fine. You're going to want a cup of water, or a jar. A spray bottle would also work well too. Warning, this is a very messy project, so prepare your workspace with a tray, towel, or some newspaper. I keep an old towel handy and a tray to put my work in with newsprint underneath. After you make sure that your grown-ups are willing to give you some of their precious coffee filters, you can get started. Take your coffee filter and fold it in half, like this. Then fold it in half again. This will be folded in fourths. You can fold it another time in half, but I'm going to leave mine in fourths. Now you can take your markers and you can start to color your folded coffee filter. This is where you can get creative. Think about color mixing, like what colors mix together to create other colors, and think about designs. Do you want to draw on the coffee filter horizontally, vertically? Do you want to make spots on it or do you want to draw designs? The possibilities are endless. So this is where the messy part starts. Take your triangle of coffee filter and dip the very tip into your cup of water. Or if you're using a spray bottle, spray directly on the coffee filter. Now flip it right side up and let the water run down through the coffee filter. As you can already see, the marker is running in the direction the water is running. You can dip it a couple times, dip different edges of it, but holding it like this allows the water to drip down the coffee filter. Use your fingers as a squeegee. The more you dip in the water, the more diluted the color will get. As you can see, the purple kind of almost disappeared. Once it's as wet as you'd like, you can unfold your coffee filter. 
Be very careful because the coffee filter, when wet, is much more delicate than before. This is also one of the messiest parts, as you can see from my fingers. So make sure your workspace is covered. Now place it in your tray, on your newspaper, or somewhere to dry. Make sure you use a towel to wipe your fingers before you touch anything and wash your hands. Set your tray aside to dry. Leaving it in the sun works great. After drying, these are our results. As you can see, there's a lot of variation in what you can do. There's a lot of things you can do with your tie-dyed coffee filters. You can draw mandalas like this, You could fold them back up and make out of season snowflakes. And don't forget to save your scraps for collage. You can also make a cut like this and roll them up into little roses. Or you can just take some tape and tape them on the window to make sun catchers. I hope you have fun tie-dyeing coffee filters. Have a great weekend.